how he bring this out, right? Because remember, go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28, read verse 32. Remember, Moses gave the Israelites blessings for obedience, and he said, curses to come upon the children of Israel for their disobedience. What we are here to do is show black, Hispanics, and Native Americans that they are the Israelites of Bible speaks of. They are called Puerto Ricans, they come from the tribe of Ephraim. Now listen to this, read. Deuteronomy chapter 12. Look, for breaking God's commandments. This is what Moses said that was going to happen to the children of Israel, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters, he said, thy sons and thy daughters, read, shall be given unto another people. He said they're going to be given to another people, talking about another race of people. Who was the sons and daughters of the so-called Negro given to? What race of people? The white people. Not the, who was the sons and daughters given to, uh, I mean, uh, the Puerto Rican people? Who? To the white man. All of that happened to all of us as a nation. Hey, sister, where you going, sis? Come on, look. Hey, I want you to hear one more curse. Now, listen, one more curse, sis. Because, see, look, this is the problem with our people. Every time you say the white man, the white man, the white man, they run off and they think it's all racist. Right. Do not white people identify themselves as white people? Yes or no? Bring it out. Do white people identify themselves as white people? Yes or no? So what's racist about saying white people? Bring it out. Sounds like it ain't nothing racist about saying black people. Right, right. You know, what is racist is what you call a nation of people outside of what they know as. Right. That's racist as hell. Right. Now look, read what you got. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So who was the sons and daughters of the Puerto Rican people given to? Bring it up. Bring the so-called Taino people. Who were their sons and daughters given to? <laughs> I know you with your friends. Somebody said, this ain't happening. White people. It's in history. Look, when we, when, we, when, we class, when we sit in the classroom with our history book, the white man was glad to show you this thing. Bring we it out. Over, uh, American history right. or U.S. Yeah. history. Yeah. Or yeah. Or yeah. 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 Came to uh, the island of uh, Port of uh, Hispaniola and, 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 and tricked the people and mm -hmm. took the gold. Yeah, go yeah, 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 yeah. In U.S. history or world history. You know what I'm saying? Go, go, go. So this yeah, stuff will be told. This the most of the black people, question. we scared to talk about it because we don't want to feel about it. In order for us to sit up there and get the kids to heaven, we got to talk to this. The so called Puerto Ricans, they was given into the hands of the white man, they yeah. were made slaves. And that was four. Give me that to do that between verse 16 real quick. Listen to this, bro. Read. Let's say, yeah. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed shall not be in the city. It's like curse you be in the city. What people populate the poor parts of any city you go to? Blacks and Hispanics. You always find blacks and Hispanics work. In the ghetto. Bring it out. In the hood. That's what they say. Hey, I'm from the hood. This, that, and the third. Read on. Curse shall not be in the field. They curse should not be in the field. What type of field was these people cursed in? Bring it up. You had the so-called Taino Indian or the Puerto Rican, and you had the so-called Negro on the island of Hispaniola chopping sugar cane together. And that that happened was not the so-called Puerto Rican and the so-called Negro on the island of Hispaniola chopping sugar cane together. Did that happen? Did that happen first? Yes or no? I have no idea, brother. I ain't happy. So you don't know history. What's question. up? I, I, do know. I have a question. Everybody want to hear your question? My question is, if Jesus died for all of our sins to be forgiven, mm. why do we still have to ask for forgiveness in order to go to heaven? Hey, look, that's a good question. First and foremost, what you got to understand, Jesus didn't die for everybody's sins. Let's see that real quick in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. See, that's the problem. Look, this is what ended up happening. Puerto Rican and Negro, man, who was captured by the so-called white man. This is true, it ain't nothing racist about saying that. It really happened. Right, that's right. We went into the Bible and found out that, hey, look, we so-called brothers are going to the Bible. We right. are brothers, not so-called. We are brothers. Right. We ain't known about American black or West Indian black, Haitian black, or Puerto Rican. We known to be the Israelites. Yeah. We're the of Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Vanessa, Sidney, and Zebulun, and the whole down. Now listen to this, First I want you to understand, Christ ain't coming back to save everybody, Read. Matthew right. chapter 1, verse 21. Bring it up. And she shall bring forth a son. It says she shall bring forth a son. Who is this son? Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Jesus Christ looks like this. But this is not Jesus Christ. This is actually a man named like Samuel Bunja. That's Pope Alexander the Zen's son. This is the image of the beast that is prophesied about in Revelation chapter 13. That's right. Read up. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. So Jesus was going to save his people from their sins. 
down to a dollar. Yeah. You gonna get the gas to that dollar one day. When they hit that red, when that when Bush took the gas, gas prices went down. Yeah. For real, we don't. Yeah. 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 See, they give me not Trump. So he said, look, don't be trouble about these things when you're in a war, in the rumors of war. Right? For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. He said, so this stuff got to come to pass, but the end ain't yet. So we ain't got the end now. Why? Because last time for our people to rise up. The Lord commanded us to go out to the house. He said, look for all chapter 14, verse 23. The Lord has commanded us to come out to the high hills and hedges, go to the Puerto Rican Day Parade, go to the hood, go to the neighborhood, go to whatever black in the state is at, and show them who they are going to the battle. Luke chapter 14, verse 23. And the Lord said unto the servants, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. Another thing I want to show you, let it do that in chapter 28, verse 31. Now look, sis, I'm going to show, sis, what's your nationality? You so-called Puerto Rican? Uh, I'm okay, what's your nationality? You who? I'm Hispanic. You're Hispanic, okay. It's A. So the so-called Hispanic or Mexican, they come from the tribe of Ishikar. That's right. That's right. right. Yeah. You're included up in it too. Yeah. Now look, tell me that this thing has some right here. Read. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 31. Now look, yeah. the great thing to me to, to hear and understand that, look, we're the most greatest people on the planet Earth. And we went into slavery for breaking the commandments of God. Our people, blacks and Hispanics, is the living proof that God is walking the earth. We have, we lived out, a, we have lived out a judgment of God, and we still live out a judgment of God to this day. One of the judgments that came from us from God is what? Our sons and daughters shall be given to another race of people. Did that not happen? Yeah, it happened. They happened to the so-called Mexican too. They happened to the so-called Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. They happened to the so-called Native American Indian. Our sons and daughters were given to another race of people and forced into slavery. That's right. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land. Now, even when you go back to dealing with the Puerto Ricans, the so-called Puerto Rican, it's like the fruit of thy land. What was the island of the Spaniola Rican? What was the resources that they had on the island of uh, Pennsylvania? Bring it out! Have you took American history, U.S. history, or world history? What about you, sis? You took U.S. Okay, world history. When Christopher Columbus went to the island of Pennsylvania, what resources was the island rich in? Bring it out! Bring it out! Gold and names. One of them was gold, one of them was sugar cane. They had all different types of resources. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.